Hey, what's going on on Friday, November 29th, 2024? My new YouTube channel, I've talked a lot about baseball, its history, its players, the amazing story of the game. 150 years. 1870s until 2020s. How about that? 150 years. So many players, 10,000, 15,000 players have come up, gone through, played, and the game is still strong today. What I've done on my YouTube channel is I've been covering box scores of individual players who excelled in their profession. I started with Babe Ruth, looked at every box score he played, did a series of videos on that. It's on my YouTube channel. Then I did Ty Cobb, Lou Gehrig, Tris Speaker, George Sussler, Rogers Hornsby, Tony Gwynn, Ted Williams, and I just finished Jesse Perkett, and Stan Musial, don't forget him. So why am I covering all these guys? Because of their ec excellent career and their stats and their accomplishments. But mainly, I started off with these guys because of their high batting averages. Cobb, 366. Hornsby, 358. Some of the other guys are in the 340s. Williams, Ruth, Garrick, Burkett and Gwynn, 338. Ted Williams, 344. Stan Musial, 331. I've been debating who should I cover next in the box scores, looking at all the box scores. I was considering Henry Aaron and Willie Mays. The problem I have, though, their career batting averages is not as high as some of the other guys who are way up there. So I was thinking, who has a high career batting average, and how do they accomplish that? Accomplish it for their career. I was thinking of Joe Jackson, shoeless Joe Jackson, three fifty six career batting average, and he played thirteen hundred and thirty two games. So that's not a measure, really. You got to be over two thousand games. He had four thousand nine hundred eighty one bats. I'd like to see about 8,000 to 10,000 at-bats to really measure your batting average. But still, in 1,300 games, 356. So I'm going to look at his career, his 13-year career, okay? Starting with this video, he played from 1908 to 1920. And then we know the tragic story, not tragic, but the stupid story of the Black Sox scandal, 1919 World Series. The team throws the series to the Cincinnati Reds, and Joe Jackson was involved, and so were seven others. They got indicted. They were found innocent, but the commissioner, Landis, suspended and kicked him out of baseball, and Joe Jackson was out after the 1920 season. But his career... Is significant, I think. It really is. So I'm going to cover his box scores. The main reason is because of his 356 career batting average. Number three, all time behind Cobb and Hornsby. This video, 1908, not much to speak about. Why? He only played five games, 23 at bats, three hits. He had three RBIs. A bat of 130, so not, nothing to speak about. He had total bases of three. His on base was 130, and his slugging was 130. So nothing to speak about the 1908 season. But I'm going to go year by year, and I'm going to say, how did he do it? How did he accumulate 1,772 hits? 1,700 and just 1,300-plus games. All right? So that covers 1908. We'll get to 1909, and then we'll go all the way through until 1920. Each video will uh, focus on each individual year, okay? Talk to you later in the next video. I'm out.